If you're looking for a haunting movie to watch, then we have a unique movie recommendation for you! Though you can watch this movie in September, we've got you some sneak peeks about this movie that will convince you to watch this movie. So let's get started. Bagman is not your average scary movie. You know what to expect. Scares, tension, and things that go bump in the night. But it also has a lot more going on. Some scary movies are all about jump scares, right? Not this one. Bagman is more like a mental roller ride that changes your mind and goes deep into your brain. Patrick McKee is the main character in our story. The actor who plays Patrick is Sam Claflin. If you've seen him in other movies, you know how good he is. However, he's not just a hero in Bagman who is out to save the day. He's been working very hard to forget his dark and scary past. But surprise, we don't want to forget the past, like that annoying fly that won't go away no matter how many times you try to get rid of it. As a child, Patrick went through something very scary that left him completely scared. You would have to sleep with the lights on for the rest of your life after hearing this. And where does all that fear come from? A scary person called the Bagman. But what is this Bagman? What kind of name is that? The Bagman is a scary, evil spirit that has been showing up in Patrick's dreams for years. Patrick thinks he finally has moved on and is living his life like any other guy with a family and all. But guess who shows up again? It was, you got it, the Bagman. Patrick is an adult now. He has a wife named Karina, played by Antonia Thomas, and a few children. Everything should go well in life, right? Not right, because the Bagman reappears out of the blue, turning his life from a normal one into a nightmare. Not only is the Bagman hiding this time, but he's also after Patrick's family. At that point, things get personal, and Patrick knows he has to face this evil force head on. The really scary thing is that the Bagman is not just any monster. Patrick is more of a hesitant hero, the kind of guy who would rather be somewhere else, but has to battle because his family is in danger. It's like someone pushed him over the edge. Now, he has to get the guts to face the Bagman for good. But Patrick has to be brave in more ways than one. He has to dig deep into his thoughts and feelings as well. He has to deal with some very bad things inside, and the Bagman is just the physical form of all the fear and guilt he's been holding for years. The movie does a great job of showing Patrick's mental battle, and when you peel back more layers of Patrick's mind, you'll learn more about what's going on there. The Bagman stands for everything Patrick has been trying to stay away from. So, when Patrick finally decides to fight the Bagman, it's not just a fight against a ghost, it's a fight for his family, his future, and his sanity. This movie does not rely on cheap scares, the ones where loud noises come from nowhere and things jump out from behind closed doors. Bagman, on the other hand, makes you think, making you feel fearful and stressed. The kind that comes on slowly until you're on edge is more important. The movie makes you feel uncomfortable without you even realizing it. And then there is how the characters change. Many scary movies don't spend much time on the characters. They're just there to make you scream a lot. But in Bagman, the characters, especially Patrick, are very well done. You learn about him, understand what scares him, and see how the Bagman has changed his life. When the movie really gets going, you're not just watching Patrick try to stay alive, you're pulling for him, hoping he can get over his fears and beat the Bagman for good. One more thing that makes Bagman unique is how it deals with family problems. It's great how the movie shows how strong family ties can be, even when scary things like the Bagman are around. Every time Patrick tries to protect his family, you can really feel the love and fear. This gives the movie a lot of emotional depth. Even though there's a lot of scary and suspenseful stuff going on, there is also a story about healing, being brave, and facing your fears. A monster isn't the only thing Patrick has to deal with on his trip. He also has to deal with his past and find a way to move on. The movie is so interesting because it's not just a scary story. It's a story about a man trying to get his life back. Let's talk about how the movie looks and feels now because the way Bagman is put together makes it so much better. A lot of dark, moody lighting makes you feel uneasy, and the photography is great. Shadows are very important to the movie. Sometimes, you can hardly see what's going on in the background, which makes things more tense. You feel like something can jump out at any time because of the way the camera is set up, even though the movie doesn't depend on cheap jump scares. 
And then there's the sound and music. This movie has such great sound. That creepy, moody music that makes your skin crawl in the best way possible makes up the score. But it's not just the music that makes the mood, it's all the little sounds as well. Every sound from the squeak of a floorboard, to the rustle of leaves outside a window, to the whisper of wind through the trees, is carefully chosen to build tension. It can be the quad that scares you the most because, you know, something is going to happen but don't know when. That's just the right amount of drama for Bagman. Oh, and the editing? We'll just say that the cutting is good. Nothing is wasted and no scenes are added just because. Everything is there for a reason and it all works together to keep the tension high. The pace is just right with slow, creeping fear that builds up to intense, heart-pounding parts. The way the movie is cut makes sure you're interested from beginning to end. You're always on the edge of your seat, wondering what will happen next. This movie would not have been possible without the hard work of those who worked on it. As usual, director Colin McCarthy brings his A-game to Bagman. He is known for making tense, moody movies. He worked on The Gruel with all the gifts and the Black Museum episode of Black Mirror. This guy's great at combining scary stories with deep emotional ones, and he does it so well in Bagman. He turns the movie into more than just a scary movie. It's a story about people, their feelings, and the human situation all wrapped up in a scary package. The writer John Holm is another one. Besides being exciting, the script he wrote has a lot of heart. Not only does Holm put his characters in scary situations, but he also gives them real feelings and backstories. It's easy to get into the story, and there are enough twists and turns to keep you guessing until the very end. The best thing about the movie is how well Holm writes it. It makes you care about what's going on on screen. Don't forget the actors and actresses, they make the story come to life. Even though we've already talked a bit about Sam Claflin, this guy does a great job as Patrick McKay. He gives the character so much depth by showing how vulnerable Patrick is, as well as how determined he is. Every scene makes you feel the weight of his past, which makes his journey even more interesting. Antonia Thomas plays Patrick's wife, Karina. You can't just watch her be scared, she is the emotional center of the story. Karina is strong, helpful, and strongly guards her family. You can tell how much she cares for Patrick and their kids because she stays by his side through everything. Claflin and Thomas work together to make the family realistic and real, which makes you care about what happens to them. Because you care about these characters' lives, the scary parts hit you even harder because you have an emotional link to them. Hence, we can say Bagman is not your average bad guy in a horror movie, you will remember how creepy and disturbing he is long after the movie is over. This is what makes the Bagman such a memorable bad guy. The way he is presented is both disturbing to look at and to think about. She isn't just a faceless monster, she is Patrick's deepest fears and unresolved trauma. This makes the fight between them so much more intense. When we talk about battles, the movie's climax is one of those times that will keep you on the edge of your seat. Patrick and the Bagman are up against each other in a high-stakes battle that ends in a dramatic and emotionally charged fight. We won't give away too much, but let's just say it's a nail-biter that will keep you gripped until the very end. When can you see this scary movie that will make your spine tingle? Note the date, September 20th, 2024 in your calendar. It will be out in theaters and I guarantee you, it will be one of those movies you'll want to see in person. Stress, the setting, and the acting all work together to make an experience that is both exciting and thought-provoking. Are you already scared of the bag man? Do share the scariest movie you've watched to date. Do share with us in the comment section below. If you enjoyed watching the video, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel.